A simple pendulum can be made by attaching a mass to a string and then attaching the string to some fixed point. A simple pendulum. We call the mass the bob and the center point, the, the place where the pendulum will come to rest eventually is called the equilibrium position. Equilibrium position. So if you bring the, the bob to one side and then release it, it will then start to describe a motion backwards and forwards. And that's an example of oscillating motion. Oscillating motion. So these are some key words which are useful to know about simple pendulums. Now friction in the air resistance and also in the fixed point, the attachment point up here, will make the kinetic energy of the pendulum slowly convert to heat energy. And its kinetic energy is its movement energy and it will describe smaller and smaller arcs until it reaches its equilibrium position and, and is at rest. Now the time period of a simple pendulum, the time period is the time taken for one complete oscillation. It's the time taken for a complete oscillation. And so that can be from its highest point to start with, all the way through the equilibrium position up to the other highest point, and then back again. That's one complete oscillation. So there and back again is one oscillation. And it's also worth bearing in mind that the amplitude of oscillation is the distance from the center line to the furthest point either side. And so that is called the amplitude. Great. One last thing before we look at this flashcard. How would we calculate the time period? Well, one easy way of doing that is to time 20 complete oscillations and then divide that time by 20. So we could say to find the time period we can time 20 oscillations and divide by 20. And that will give you the time period of one oscillation. And that would be more accurate than trying to just find one oscillation. Okay, so let's have a look at this flashcard. For a simple pendulum, the equation linking its time period, so we now know what that is, the time taken to go all the way one way and then back again the other way, and frequency, and frequency here is the number of oscillations per second is t, the time period, equals 1 divided by the frequency. So t is the time period, the time period, and the units of that are in seconds, or s, and f is the frequency. That's the number of oscillations happening per second. And the units of that are hertz, or hz. So that's the relationship which links a simple pendulum's time period with the frequency of oscillation.